Bears, sharks, piranhas. If I told you those animals were dangerous, you probably wouldn't be shocked. But some animals, some are so much more dangerous than you'd ever believe, it will really shock you. These are surprisingly dangerous animals. Number 20. Moose Moose are amongst the biggest wild animals in North America, weighing up to a thousand pounds and standing about six feet tall at the shoulders. These large beasts are relatively fearless of humans, posing a significant threat to public safety. Moose attack more humans each year than any other kind of animal, which includes bears. Moose in particular are one of the most unpredictable and terrifying animals on the planet. In Colorado, for example, they've become a particular threat to those who don't understand understand how to respect the moose's habitat. Colorado is home to an estimated 2,500 moose and has one of the healthiest populations in the lower 48 states, thanks to decades of conservation efforts. Moose have spread beyond the isolated locations where they were first introduced, thanks to their increasing population, and many bustling mountain villages, rural communities, tourist spots, and ski areas are now home to them. As they continue to seek new areas and habitat, moose have recently gone into Colorado's Front Range suburbs. While this provides great opportunity to see these interesting creatures, deadly moose-human confrontations have grown more prevalent in recent years. Fortunately, almost all harmful interactions can be mitigated or avoided by adopting a few simple measures and giving the moose plenty of room to spread out those huge antlers. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. Now we all know that octopuses are more intelligent than they look. We all know they can be colorful and are always adorable. But did you know they can be pretty vicious as well? Some have even been known to attack humans. While mostly peaceful when unprovoked, if threatened, they will do what it takes to defend themselves, and that makes them mighty dangerous indeed. As always, comment down below using the hashtag SweetTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed you on the screen. Number 19. The Platypus the duck-billed platypus is a legendary oddball animal. When a stuffed platypus was originally brought back to Europe for categorization, experts in London just assumed that it was fake, made up of a bunch of other strange creatures as a joke. A beaver-like tail, an otter-like torso, a duck-like face and feet, and furthermore, it's a mammal that lays eggs and is venomous. Anyone who's unfortunate enough to make an enemy out of a platypus can suffer terrible agony from a pinch by one of the poisonous spurs on the male's ankles. They're roughly 20 inches long, including the tail, and weigh around three pounds, although ancient platypuses were more than three feet long, according to fossil records. They reside in Australia along with a variety of other strange creatures, where they hang around near sources of water, doing their thing while making no sense. Duck moles would be the name that was given to them by the British. That's pretty understandable. Platypus is Greek for flatfoot, which is approximately last on the list of unusual characteristics that you may remember about the critter when you first see it. Number 18. Stingray when we discovered in 2006 that the iconic TV personality Steve Irwin had died at a young age, the world was horrified and sad. The announcement that he had been killed by a stingray was even more surprising for a guy who had spent his whole life coming into contact with some of the world's most terrifying animals. Stingrays are often thought to be harmless, and this is mostly accurate. Only two individuals have ever died of a stingray sting in Australian seas since 1945, and one of them was Irwin. 
Both times they were unlucky, the stinging barb struck them in the chest, delivering the venom directly to the heart. But it just goes to show that the fish we enjoy swimming with can be dangerous in the wrong situations. The venom, in fact, has an anesthetic effect, and ancient Greek doctors employed it as an analgesic for people undergoing dental surgery. What level of knowledge did the ancient Greeks possess? Well, that's a little crazy. Check with your dentist the next time you visit to see whether or not he has an aquarium, because if he does, you may be getting a dose of stingray toxin during your next treatment. Number 17. The Squirrel after being assaulted by a group of squirrels, a youngster had to be taken to the hospital. Sophie Renouf was 22 when she was out strolling with her son Finley in the woods, when that's when he reached out to feed one of the animals. Five more squirrels, however, then jumped out of the bushes and charged at him. Mrs. Renouf ran in to help, but had to fend off one of the squirrels, who tried to climb up her leg. Finley was then transported from the incident to a hospital in the UK, but would then be moved to another hospital where physicians would spend three hours treating his puncture wounds and bandaging his fingers. Mrs. Renouf wants to warn people about the hazards of feeding wild squirrels after the horrific event that happened with her and her son. Experts claim there had been examples of squirrels that were attacking humans in the past, with one of the animals hurting eight people people in different incidences in California last year. Mrs. Renouf, a sales assistant, said the young child was recuperating well, but it had been a very scary event. So how do you defeat a squirrel? Well, you try kicking it in the nuts, of course. Number 16. The Pufferfish the pufferfish is without a doubt one of the most unusual animals in the world, not only in the ocean. As any Minecraft fan would tell you, these clumsy looking slow swimming fish have incredible defensive skills. When threatened, they quickly consume water or air, causing their loose skin to inflate up into a ball, and the numerous spikes that normally lie flat on the skin grow upright, making this a considerably less appealing prey. There are about 120 species of pufferfish, all which come in a variety of forms and sizes, with many of them sporting different brilliant colors. As most people are aware, bright colors in the animal kingdom frequently serve as a warning, and this is the same with the pufferfish. If a courageous or hungry predator can swallow all of those spikes, he or she's going to be in for a terrible surprise. That's because this aquatic porcupine is also very very toxic. In reality, each pufferfish contains a lethal dosage of tetrodotoxin, a poison that's 1200 times more toxic than cyanide, and capable of killing 30 people with no available antidote. So it might come as a surprise to learn that this incredibly deadly fish is a popular Japanese delicacy in which skilled chefs remove the poisonous portions of the fish, leaving only the safe bits. One wrong cut, on the other hand, spells certain death for the diner, and fugu lovers don't often make it home from the restaurant. A one-of-a-kind fish makes a one-of-a-kind and fairly stressful dinner. Number 15. Golden Poison Frog Now this here is the world's most toxic animal, and I'm not talking about Lindsay Lohan. The brilliantly colored golden poison frog species, which is just a couple of inches long, can kill 10 men with its deadly venom. The native Embara tribe of Colombia has historically dipped the tip of their darts into frogs before blowing them at monkeys and other animals they hunt for sustenance with a blowpipe. The tribe used to trap the frogs in hollow canes since they were no longer in frequent communication with the outside world after the beginning of guerrilla fighting in the area. They take them out and use a sharp stick to puncture the frog from the throat to the leg, prompting the frog to begin sweating out its deadly fluid, into which the darts would be inserted. The poison would be lethal for a year if it got into the bloodstream, and even a small quantity would kill you. Aside from humans, the frog's defensive system is very successful, with only a few animals willing to try this deadly feast. Number 14. The Panda 
A tourist from China boasted about how knowledgeable he was about pandas. Aren't they just simply adorable, clumsy little fluff balls? As a result, he then climbed inside the cage to pet the lovely enchanted fur ball. He would be reminded that they were panda bears at that moment because they may spend their days munching bamboo, but they still have the fangs, claws, and strength of regular bears, and they aren't exactly afraid to use them when they feel threatened. The panda pounced on this idiot's leg right away and biting hard, then used its large size to overwhelm the man who was soon in danger. Is this the first time a crowd of people has yelled out so cute as they witnessed someone being mauled by a huge animal? The man ultimately made his way out, but not before severely injuring his leg and ruining the panda's day. His next test will probably come from the Chinese authorities, who will undoubtedly have many questions for him. Number 13. Cone Snail The snail of the cones, or the cone snail to be less dramatic. That's correct, it is a snail, a cousin of the small slimy creatures who leisurely creep about your porch. This snail, however, is not like the others. It's a sea snail, for starters, and it lives in a really beautiful brown and cream shell that looks like a pair of 1970s jeans. As a result, several divers and beachcombers have leaned down to pick one up to have a closer look. However, they soon regret their decision. When the cone snail feels threatened or detects prey nearby, it uses its sharp syringe-like proboscis to attack. This pointed and forceful thing is enough to pierce diving gloves, and it's a double-barreled shotgun, because first it stings you with venom potent enough to kill 10 people, and then it hits you with anti-inflammatory and analgesic serum, so you don't even realize you've been stung. Only hours or days later, a peculiar tingling and numbness appears, signaling the beginning of the venom taking hold of the body, and the cone snails have been blamed for at least 30 30 fatalities. There's no anti-venom either, so you're on your own against this powerful snail's toxin. On the plus side though, the painkiller that's generated by the cone snail is 10,000 times more powerful than morphine and doesn't have the same addictive qualities. Thus, one of our deadliest adversaries may one day become one of our greatest allies as scientists work better to understand this cone snail painkiller. Number 12. The Tasmanian Devil Now, let's be frank. The Tasmanian Devil is a kooky little critter, but he doesn't swirl around like a tornado and make strange growling noises when he gets all angry, just in case you came up with that thought somehow. However, they do have plenty of other dangerous features. First and foremost, they're ravenous. They may consume up to 40% of their own body weight in a single day, and they take a lot of meat. In fact, since its distant relative, the Tasmanian tiger, became extinct in the 20th century, they're currently the world's most carnivorous marsupial. Carrion is their favorite meal, and they have one of the most powerful bites in the world in relation to their size, allowing allowing them to smash and chew bones. They're exclusively found in Australian island of Tasmania, hence their name, although fossil records do indicate that they've thrived on the mainland Australia until approximately about 400 years ago. In general, Tasmanian devils do not pose a threat to humans, preferring to flee rather than fight. But be prepared for some bone-crushing force if they do feel intimidated and get those fangs out around your ankles. Number 11. Elephants the African bush elephant is the OG of large animals. It's the world's biggest terrestrial animal. Bulls may weigh up to 13,500 pounds, which is roughly the same as a school bus or a small plane. Without a doubt, that is one large beast. They also have the largest brains and are one of the most clever creatures on the earth, having particularly complicated emotional lives. However, as you may have anticipated, they're on the verge of extinction as a result of humans' irresponsible behavior. They are, however, fighting back. 
Elephant attacks kill over 500 people each year, according to the National Geographic Channel video Elephant Rage. Experts also say that such attacks are growing more prevalent. Joyce Poole, an elephant researcher in Kenya for almost 30 years, has heard stories of elephants murdering humans on purpose. Some scientists actually believe that these extremely intelligent creatures with extraordinary memory are suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder brought on by humans. Number 10. Hippopotamus now we're on to the mammalian biting force champion. The hippopotamus is a large African water dweller who, despite spending nearly their entire lives in water, are technically unable to swim and can administer a bite with a force of up to 2,000 psi. Hundreds of thousands of them. The pressure is centered on the four sharp, two-foot-long canines and incisors within the hippo's mouth. Now, these are supplied by some enormous jaws that can actually expand to a 180-degree angle. That implies that the hippo would have no issue in biting a human in half, which happens all the time in Africa, where they're the most deadly animal, killing up to 500 people each year on average. A hippo can pulverize a Nile crocodile, leaving it lying in two parts if it felt like it. Yet, there isn't a creature on the African continent that would dare to fight one. If you don't want to get gobbled alive and spat out, please don't go too near these violent and unpredictable herbivores. Number 9. The Slow Loris Slow lorises are our cousins. However, we shouldn't anticipate any familial friendliness from these adorable little creatures. They're the world's only toxic primate, and their bite may cause significant injury. They're tiny and nocturnal and live in the Southeast Asian woods. However, little is actually known about their habits. We do know that when they are discovered, they hide their faces with their hands, earning them the Indonesian moniker of Malu Malu, which translates to shy one. Slow lorises confront a variety of adversaries in the forest, including leopards, bears, eagles, orangutans, and snakes, despite their timid and nocturnal nature. A color palette that resembles that of a cobra is part of the slow loris defense, and it's not just in its appearance. When frightened, lorises lick a sexual gland on their arm, which produces chemicals that become very poisonous when combined with saliva. That's kind of freaky. This means that any future bite will have catastrophic effects, which include anaphylactic shock and even death in humans. So you should be warned. Despite the adorable packaging, this is a cobra disguised as a monkey and not the other way around. Number 8. The Blue Ringed Octopus People are really only at risk from octopuses when they choke on one of their clinging tentacles while enjoying a seafood tasting menu. The blue ringed octopus, on the other hand, is a unique species of octopus. The only octopus that's venomous to humans is this one. It's brilliantly colored, which in nature typically implies do not approach. They're around the size of a walnut, but they actually contain enough venom to kill almost 25 humans in one shot. They're small, well hidden, and inject a painkiller, so you don't even realize that you've been bitten. It's possible that by the time you do know what's going on, on, it's going to be too late, and with all of that armament, you may be wondering if they're actually very relaxed. The answer? No. These are some ferocious eight-legged monsters that enjoy nothing more than to go on the attack and show off their lethal prowess. To make matters worse, there's no anti-venom for this octopus's sting. So even though assaults are uncommon, if you do get into problems with a blue-ringed octopus, it's not going to be a pleasant ride. Number 7. Ant Eater They're blind, they're deaf, and they're toothless. 
But nevertheless, anteaters may be lethal. In a recent case report, scientists describe a brutal anteater attack in northern Brazil, which claimed the life of one hunter barely two years after another man would be killed in a similar encounter with one of the long-nosed critters. The assaults should serve as a warning to people encroaching on anteater territory, the scientists would write in the Journal of Wilderness and Environmental Medicine recently. The biggest of the four surviving anteater species, the giant anteater, dwell in savanna-like areas in South Central America and may grow to be up to seven feet long in adulthood. They have four sharp claws on both forelimbs and termite mounds, as well, allegedly, to inflict deadly wounds on people. Using its front claws, an anteater at the Florencio Varela Zoo attacked and killed a zookeeper in April of 2007. Ramon, the animal in question, had a reputation for being violent. The giant anteater is a mischievous counterpart to the jaguar in the mythology and folklore of the Amazon basin's indigenous people peoples, as well as a comical character owing to its large nose. An anteater challenged a jaguar to a breath-holding competition beneath water in one story, which the jaguar accepted. The anteater leapt out of the water and snatched the jaguar's pelt after the two removed their pelts and submerged, leaving the jaguar with the anteater's fur. So they might just mug you and then steal your coat. An anteater neighborhood is a bad neighborhood to be in. Number 6. Shrews Shrews are one of the most ferocious animal predators in the world, despite their tiny size and their gray appearance. They're also plentiful and ubiquitous, with populations on five continents and a range of environments. The northern short-tailed shrew is possibly one of the most common animals in eastern North America. On YouTube, you might have seen a lot of videos of shrews fighting mice, scorpions, snakes, and other big animals, and winning every time. This is due to the fact that several shrew species are venomous. According to studies, a single shrew may store enough venom to kill 200 mice. This venom is also used by some shrews for live hoarding, which is a brutal process. Instead of hollow teeth like venomous snakes, the shrew possesses a gland that permits saliva to flow with the venom. When a shrew comes into contact with its victim, usually an invertebrate, although it can also be a mouse or another vertebrate, it bites it, enabling the toxic saliva to pour into the wound. This is the start of a rather unpleasant day for the victim. The venom paralyzes the beast, but it doesn't kill it. The shrew can then stash it away for a stockpile for when it goes hunting, or hunting doesn't go so well. For an animal that must feed continuously, this ensures that a fresh food is always available. Well, kind of fresh. A mealworm may be maintained paralyzed yet alive for 15 days, according to the American Chemical Society. The human shrew bite is said to be unpleasant, but does disappear after a few days. So that's a good thing that these creatures aren't bigger. Number 5. The Cassowary because birds are now recognized to be a direct descendant of dinosaurs, experts believe that most of them were feathered rather than scaly like current reptiles. If there's one species that seems to support this notion, it's the Australian cassowary which is unquestionably the most dinosaur-like creature still alive on the planet. The world's most deadly bird, as it is known, is cautious towards people and domestic dogs, but won't hesitate to strike violently if it finds it necessary. With a strong pecking beak and incredibly sharp claws, the blows may actually be quite ferocious. Deaths have been reported, but they're actually uncommon. Cassowaries will attack automobiles and their own reflections in a pane of glass, which causes them to shatter, possibly implying that they too acquired a pea brain from the dinosaurs. However, 
These scaled-down velociraptors are not immune to threats, and the Australian rainforest now features only about 2,000 individuals because their habitat was decimated by the introduction of 24 million invasive domestic pigs, which have already caused 100 extinctions of native flora and fauna in Australia. So it's actually possible that now is the time to step in and save the classic angry bird from oblivion. Number 4. Swan A guy drowned after a swan attacked him, knocking him out of his kayak and preventing him from swimming to land. So just how deadly are these perfect white birds anyways? Anthony Hensley, who was 37 years old, worked for a firm that provides swans to deter geese from trespassing on private lands. The married father of two paddled out on a kayak across a pond at a residential development in De Plain, Illinois, where he was attending to the fowl one Saturday morning. Now, according to Cook County Sheriff Tom Dart, whose officers handled the tragedy, one of the swans rushed his boat, capsizing it. Mr. Hensley attempted to swim to shore, but eyewitnesses report to the sheriff's detectives that the swan aggressively impeded him. The swan's violent behavior, according to ornithologists, is typical of the species, the mute swan, while guarding a nest. Males defend their nests fiercely, especially during the spring nesting season, which runs from April to June. Number 3. Beaver The beaver is known as the forest's friendly little lumberjack and is known for his magnificent dams across rivers. This is somewhat accurate. These nocturnal semi-aquatic rodents are among the nature's great constructors, and there are two kinds that reside in North America and Eurasia. The beaver creates its dam to provide a tranquil pool in which to dwell, and as a result has acquired extraordinary abilities as a woodworker, able to bring down enormous branches and logs, as well as to construct canals in order to transfer the material to the dam. The beaver's huge teeth are used for the majority of their amazing job, and this is where things may turn dangerous for humans. In 2013, a Belarusian man approached a beaver with his camera, intending to take a picture of it. However, the camera-shy beaver didn't really appreciate that and dug his teeth into the guy, severing an artery and causing him to die in agony. In 2018, another guy would be kayaking with his daughter in Pennsylvania when an enraged beaver jumped into the boat and began to assault them. He used a paddle to whack the beaver, but it then attacked his daughter, and the father was eventually able to beat the obstinate beaver to death. Those large orange incisors are meant for biting solid wood, so keep an eye out if one of them wants to use you as his next dam building logs. Number 2. The Sea Lion A viral video of a California sea lion grabbing a young girl off the pier in Vancouver vicinity has aroused interest in the marine creatures as well as some misunderstandings. At a pier in British Columbia, Canada, a sea lion can be seen rushing out of the ocean and then pulling a young girl into the port by her clothing. Although it was most likely out of curiosity, people can nonetheless be harmed by these games. Sea lions, as beautiful and cuddly as they may look, should be recognized as wild creatures and handled with respect, which includes keeping a safe distance. <laughs> when confronted by people, they prefer to flee, but if they do find themselves in precarious situations, they're prepared to bite. It's worth noting that male sea lions are fiercely territorial during mating season, and they've been known to attack humans who come too close to them. This is due to the fact that their bodies contain larger quantities of certain hormones, and they're also attempting to defend their claimed territory in order to recruit a large number of females into their harem. 
Now we have to keep in mind that as we continue to enter into sea lion's native environments, we're exposing them to new and unfamiliar situations. They have innate instincts that will guide them in their actions because people continue to push the boundaries that were previously in place and we can't expect them, or any other creature for that matter, to change that. It's also not really fair to lump all people into the same category. When an emergency situation arises, thousands of individuals give up their time to help. Many sea lions would perish if it weren't for the assistance when oil spills or other issues occur in their natural environment as a result of human negligence. Number 1. The Lionfish the lionfish is a type of scorpion fish, and it's a ferocious one at that, with a warning color of red, white, and black stripes across its body, as well as an array of extremely poisonous spines radiating from it. It's a sight to behold. The lionfish is a formidable fighter, as well as a superb hunter with a voracious appetite for anything small enough to slip into its jaws. Although sharks and giant sea worms have been observed to effectively attack this fish counterpart of the Sherman tank, they have no natural predators. In its native environment, the reefs, corals, and lagoons of the South Pacific and Indian Oceans, lionfish numbers are mostly kept under control. However, in 1992, Hurricane Andrew wreaked havoc on the Florida shores, which included destroying an aquarium. This would result in the escape of six lionfish into the Caribbean, where they quickly established themselves as one of the most destructive invasive species, aggressively feasting on unsuspecting local species and expanding to considerably bigger sizes than previously reported. They've already expanded throughout the western Atlantic, leaving a path of damage in their wake, and environmentalists are trying to stop the invincible lionfish from spreading. Sometimes in life, looks can be very deceiving, and when it comes to animals, this deception can sometimes lead to a deadly result. So which of these crazy critters would you least like to meet? Will you be more careful in nature from now on? Let me know in the comments below. Also, check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.